Hey guys, Shanti Phillips here with my brand new DVD Blu-ray Tuesday Shop video today. Thinking about today's few things came out, a few things are on sale today. Today though, the big release that comes out is Star Wars The Rise of uh, Skywalker. And that one has a number of different retail exclusive ones. Uh, I know Target has one uh, that includes a uh, you know exclusive bonus DVD with features that are only available on that one. Uh, at um, Walmart they have one in exclusive packaging. Like kind of, I saw like a picture online uh, the way it, like, it opens up. It looks kind of interesting. And the other one is uh, Best Buy has an exclusive 4K steelbook of that one. And of course, though, Best Buys, though, are not open in store, though. So if anybody, you know, wants that edition, you'd have to have it sent to your house or do the store pickup with that one. But one thing that I wanted to make sure to mention, though, like I talked about in the video last Tuesday as well, I'm not going out, though, uh, just to look uh, for DVDs or Blu-rays or anything like that. You know, I'm the main person in the house that goes out. And pretty much is getting everything now. I'm going to, uh, to, if I need to go to the market, I'm going to the market. If I need to go uh, pick up food, all that kind of stuff. Doing the drive-throughs, I'm the main person doing all that stuff in the house for my parents and my brother and all that kind of stuff. So that's what I wanted to make sure to mention is like when I'm going to Walmart, uh, you know, I was usually going to Walmart usually like two times a week, uh, usually on Tuesdays, would be getting some things then, you know, before all this was going on. And then I would usually go on like another time during the week and get other things. All that kind of stuff. So now what I'm doing is I'm just basically going to Walmart one time a week and planning it out to, you know, when I go and do the DVDs. I'm like, well, you know, Walmart is a market, but, you know, it's considered more of a market now, but it has movies. So I'm like, well, I can still show the movies in there. I'm not going to Target anymore for a while because I really, I don't get too much stuff there. So there's no point in me like traipsing around in there. There's no need. Uh, like I said, I'm just going to Walmart now. Uh, if there's anything like I specifically need to Target, I'll plan it for like a Tuesday or something like that. So then I'll be in there at the same time. But like I said, I'm trying not to make any extra trips. Like people have been saying that in the comments too, like all that kind of stuff. Like I said, I just wanted to make sure to clear that up and to mention though, I'm not, you know, just going out uh, for movies. That's not at all what I'm doing. Uh, you know, everything movie related to is changing so much now too. Like uh, review wise, a lot of places that send review copies and all that are not doing that right now because they're not open. So, um, it probably won't be as many reviews going you know, coming forward in the in the videos and that kind of stuff too. So just want to make sure to mention that as well. There will be though at the end of this video though a handful of um, really cool reviews though. So stay tuned for those. At the end of this video is from things I received to review and talk about for you guys. So definitely stay tuned for those. And as always too, let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of the DVDs, Blu-rays, and 4Ks that are reviewed. If you guys have seen them, uh, if you guys plan on picking any of them up. So guys, let's get going and see what we can find today. Into Walmart we go. I have this different mask on today, but I have this glove because I can't find the other type of gloves that people are having. But this is for anything that I touch in here, so I think it's better than nothing. But this, like, none of these masks are that perfect, though, because I have, like, a weird big face and a bigger nose, so, like, they never really fit too great. And then I had those other type of goggle things that I was wearing, so I didn't touch my eyes, but they, like, fogged up so badly I like, they like fog, so I, I can't even wear those. So it's like, oh, I've got to kind of get this thing on before I touch anything else. I think it's on. But in here though, like I was saying though, the big thing that came out was uh, Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. And that one here is uh, $29.96 for the 4K Ultra HD Edition, the standard one. And then their exclusive here, I was mentioning, that one is $34.96. And this one, yeah, so this one is a 4K edition. This has limited edition collectible packaging. Like I said, it kind of opens up in a kind of a weird kind of way. It has like a, almost like a pull tab thing or something like that there. And it's like a much thicker one. See how it has a look at this. Kind of like the, um, I don't know. I've seen other things in this similar type of a case, like years back, but not in a while in a case like that one. Like I said, that one's $34.99. The standard uh, Blu-ray, uh, that one is uh, $22.96. And then the DVD only, that one is a 1996. Other than that, though, in here, like I said, I don't think there's too much other things. They do have in here, though, uh, this one we talk about at the end of this video. This one I love. This one is an absolute must uh, watch. Uh, VFW. Uh, and this one here is on 12, it's only 12.96 for the Blu ray and then 12.96 for the DVD, so the same price. There is a 4K, that's the one I'm gonna be talking about at the end of this video. I don't know what this movie is here. Blood on, Blood on Her Name? I'm gonna have to read this one. I don't know anything about this one at all. This one is uh, $12.96 for that one. Other than that though, let's see, what does this say here? Dark Waters, yeah, these were old. Uh, this one here, uh, Fire Force, here is um, 
think this is like complete. Is this a complete first season? Yeah, season one, part one. That one is uh, $39.96. And then the current war, this one here. It's one I, I have not, I did not see this one in theaters or anything. If you guys have seen this one, let me know how this one was. This is $14.96 for the, um, the DVD of that one. It says it's the director's cut. Well, I think when I saw it, this advertised online, like playing in theaters, it said director's cut as well. So I'm not sure with that. Uh, also this one here, the captain. Uh, this one released today. This one is uh, $12.96. Other than that, though, it doesn't look like there's anything else in here new. Like I said, I'm going to have to look up, though, this one, though, and see what that is. Let's see, though, if they have any of these Star Wars over here. You know, the uh, other films on 4K. I don't see... Yeah, that's the one thing I didn't mention. All the other Star Wars films, you know, all, all nine of Star Wars films uh, are coming out on 4K for the first time today as well. But I don't see any of them in here, uh, any of the 4K ones. I'm not sure if they're going to carry them or not. And in here and everything too though, I, I try and make sure like if anyone's around, I like walk as far away from them as I can. Like I try not to be anywhere like near anybody. I kind of like duck through all the aisles. I got to go to the food and get some stuff. But yeah, that was pretty much, just, you know, the main things in here though that came out. But now, though, we'll take a look on the computer though and see what Target has uh, this week that they're promoting, you know, new release wise. But taking a look here on Target's uh, website on their weekly ad, the only main thing that they're promoting is Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. And like I was saying, they have the exclusive edition here, and it's uh, $34.99 for that one. They also have all the other films available on 4K as well. It doesn't say the price on those ones. I think, I think, I believe those are all going to be $29.99, I believe, because that's how much they are on Amazon and other places. But you can take a closer look here at this one and it comes with a gallery book and it has a bonus uh, DVD here uh, yeah it's a DVD edition it's exclusive to the Target one if you guys pick up this one though let me know what is the exclusive on that DVD I'm really wondering you know what the exclusive uh, feature on that one was but definitely a cool one and also like it has a um, exclusive cover on this one as well and now, though, we'll take a look on Best Buy's website to check out their new releases that are out this week on Best Buy. Like I said, you guys can get them, you know, uh, through store pickup, but you can't go inside. No, no uh, Best Buy's are open in person inside, but you guys can have them shipped to your house or do store pickup. And I think you can actually go up to them and get the stuff now, too, if you tell them. Like, there's people out front of the store you can tell as well if there's something that you wanted specifically. So taking a look here on Best Buy's website, we're checking out the Star Wars Rise of Skywalker exclusive steelbook here. And this one's an exclusive 4K Ultra HD edition here. But really love the artwork here on the cover. And here's a closer look inside. This is definitely a very, very cool uh, steelbook for this one. I really love the, you know, the images and stuff inside for this one with them all together like that in the ship. But definitely a very, very cool one. Uh, and this one here, the steelbook here is uh, $34.99 for that one. Uh, the standard... Uh, 4K is uh, $29.99. It's $22.99 for the um, uh, Blu-ray edition. And then all the other films are on uh, 4K as well, like I was saying. And those ones are each uh, $29.99. And it's funny, if you guys don't have any of these ones, they have an exclusive here. This is a Best Buy exclusive edition for the 4Ks that has them all together. And this one is uh, $249. But it's actually, I added them all up, it's actually a little bit cheaper if you don't have them to get them all together in this set like this and the the box that it's in is kind of like the um the the, uh, the one that 007 the james bond collection was in years back when that released they were in kind of a set like that so it's kind of that's how the kind of like the look it has it comes with some kind of a note thing with it as well like a letter thing with it but definitely a cool addition it's very you know very expensive though but if you guys don't have any of these ones already and you guys want to get them all together in a set like this on 4k definitely is a way to get it as the uh, best buy exclusive one though but other than that, though, on the Best Buy website, some of the other things that they're um, promoting that are releasing is this movie here called The Captain for $14.99, uh, Fire Force uh, Season 1 Part 1 for $39.99, uh, the complete fourth season of Mr. Robot releases, and that one's uh, $29.99. I know there's also going to be a complete series collection of that. Oh, yeah, that's actually down here for uh, $69.99, you know, the complete series set here. I watched the first two seasons and really loved the show, but then I never watched after that. Uh, I didn't see... I don't think I only saw like one episode of the third season. Other than that, though, the uh, movie uh, VFW, which I really loved, and we're talking about that at the end of this video in the review portion. That one is a uh, seventeen nine nine for the four K Ultra HD edition of that one. But really, really like that one a lot. Hello. 
Hi, so I need to get a um, Impossible Whopper, please, but just with no mayonnaise on that. And then a, um, a double cheeseburger plain, please. And then um, a, a small size of onion rings. A, a large fry. Um, and then one chicken fry. Like any dipping sauce with the chicken fry? Um, yes, I just need to get um, two sweet and sour and one um, a barbecue, please. But anyway, though, guys, that was all for my brand new DVD Blu ray Tuesday shopping video. Like I always say, if you guys enjoy these shopping videos, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Also, let me know in the comments below, you know, uh, if you guys picked up uh, Star Wars The Rise of uh, the, you know, the Rise of Skywalker, you know, what edition uh, you guys picked up of that one. Because, like I said, there's a lot of really cool editions of that one that came out today. Uh, also, though, let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of the DVDs, Blu rays, and 4Ks that I reviewed at the end of this video. Uh, you know, what, what you guys thought of them, if you guys have seen any of them, and also if you guys plan on picking any of them up. But, like I was saying though you know things are definitely going to change too uh, review wise like I said a lot of that the you know the places that do review copies and all that kind of stuff you know since I do a lot of reviews at the end are not like open right now or not shipping things right now because of everything that's going on so like I said there won't be as many reviews of, of things coming forward there still will be some but just not as many so just want to make sure that you guys know about that as well but anyway though guys like I said thanks again for watching and subscribing now stay tuned for the brand new reviews but before we get to the reviews, I just want to show you guys, I was getting a whole bunch of stuff, getting Pan Express, getting the other food in Walmart, there's other stuff in here, Chick-fil-A. So Herb, where are you, you back there? Chick-fil-A. Yeah, I got all the stuff. Yes. Yeah, so everyone's like Ooh. saying, I wasn't just for the movies, it was all for the other things. And I got you those, yeah, that's the good. almonds that you needed. That's good. They, no didn't have the, they didn't have the golden almonds, almonds but they, they had, had these. Golden almonds, everybody. I don't understand it. They make all those kind of with toffee and all that crap in them. I know. And it's like the regular ones are always gone. These are these are second best. Thanks. But still, no no good. more paper towels and no Perel. We're not uh, no luck. I guess there'll be no ass wiping. Nope. All but right. I did find you know Dweeble's coffee though, well, so we good. found that. That's so good. all right. Yes. Yeah, you did a pretty good score. All right. So now over to the reviews. And the first one I got here is from Arrow Video, and this is the uh, limited edition two-disc Blu-ray here of Beyond the Door. This is one I had not seen in a really, really long time. This movie has, like, vibes of something like Exorcist, mixed with, like, Rosemary's Baby, mixed with The Omen, kind of all combined into one. It kind of has that vibe, but it also has, like, some really crazy sequences and some real over-the-top kind of stuff that happens in this one as well. But it's basically about this woman who becomes pregnant. She wasn't even, like, planning to become pregnant, but it was, like, a total surprise, and and, um, you know, as soon as she gets pregnant, though, weird sort of things happen. Like, she starts having, like, weird, like, um, the way she's acting. And it's like she's acting and she's saying, like, really crazy stuff and saying something about the baby and acting like the baby is, like, you know, you know, trying to get her. And all these certain things that she's saying. And it also deals, too, with this one guy who's kind of um, pursuing her and trying to find this woman because he's, like, in the beginning of the movie, it says something about how if you do this, uh, you have to kill this, this, this baby and if you do you'll be free and and maybe you won't die yourself so it has all sorts of like crazy stuff going on but it's actually a really really cool uh, movie here and like I said this is the limited edition uh, two disc blu-ray and this one is limited to 3,000 units and it has a uh, disc one has the uncut uh, English export version as well as disc two which is a limited edition exclusive has a US theatrical um, uh, you know um, you know version of the film and that one's exclusive to this edition here uh, some of the features that are on here though this has a archival a commentary track on here with the director, archival commentary track on here with the star. This has a newly filmed uh, interview on here with the director. It has a um, newly filmed interview with the cinematographer on this one. Uh, brand new interview, um, newly filmed interview with the composer on here. Uh, audio interview on here with one of the actors. Uh, Beyond the Door, 35 uh, years later, archival uh, feature out on here, which features interviews with the director and some of the stars of the film. It has an alternate opening titles, uh, theatrical trailers, TV spots. And on disc two, it, like I said, it has uh, both versions. It has uh, 2K restorations on these ones. But on the limited edition uh, disc two on here, it has also uh, Beyond the Door, the 19... The, 
uh, 98 minute uh, you know theatrical version as well as a uh, brief you know Italy possessed a brief history of Exorcist ripoffs a brand new feature at length documentary including interviews with key filmmakers on this one uh, Sergio Martino Albert Di Mar Martino um, as well as other filmmakers as well it has on here though archival interview with Beyond the Door actor um, you know um, uh, Gabriel Lavia, as well as extended interviews with star uh, Juliet Mills. But like on here, like I said, yeah, it's like it has a documentary on here about Exorcist ripoff films because there was a lot of like um, ex as soon as Exorcist came out, since it was so successful, they made a whole bunch of different movies. They were kind of like similar kind of concepts and that kind of stuff. And I'll show you guys a look inside here. It has a um, a mini poster for the film. It's a um, Double-sided mini poster it has the one the, the original poster artwork here It's I always remember this original poster as well as the brand new artwork as well as I really like the new uh, Cover on this one also in here though as well as the mini poster It has a um, book in here which has some stuff about the film about the production all that kind of stuff as well in this one as well as in here I'll show you guys a look inside like I was saying it's a uh, two disc set so it has the um, uncut English export version the exclusive uh, you know, limited edition theatrical version, and it also has um, a bunch of different uh, lobby cards in here as well for the film. It was, and it has the original poster artwork on the back side of these ones. Like I said, lobby cards for the film on this one, and this one that's kind of has an image. Uh, this is like I think promoting another movie here called White Fire. I've never seen this one, but it kind of has like an um, you know Ash, you know like a um, Army of Darkness kind of look to this one. But I don't think I've ever seen that movie. Like I said though, a really really cool uh, new release here for this film, which I had not seen in such a long time. But a really really fun, like I said, Exorcist kind of film with aspects of like The Omen and Rosemary's Baby kind of all uh, you know mixed together in uh, this one here. And the next one uh, I got here, this one is from Paramount. This is one I really like this movie. This stars Ty Sher 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 Sheridan, you know, who was in Mud. Uh, Anna de Amas, you know, who was most recently in Knock, you know, was in Knock Knock, but most recently in, um, you know, Knives Out. Uh, John Leguizamo is in the film. Uh, Helen Hunt. But I really like this movie. This basically stars uh, Ty Sher Sheridan. You know, sh I, hopefully I'm saying his name right. But you know, I, um, he basically though his character has, um, you know, Asperger's syndrome, and he works at this motel, and he basically though he kind of learns from watching people that's kind of how he learns to kind of cope with his you know mild form of autism and and kind of it, he kind of watches people but what he does though in this motel or hotel that he works at he has these hidden cameras that he puts in rooms and he puts has this one room that he puts hidden cameras in and he watches the stuff later and he's like watching it to kind of learn from people kind of the way people interact to kind of try and help himself kind of learn uh the, you know more about interactions and that kind of stuff and kind of try and help him act kind of the way other people do because that's kind of like where he his strongest point is in, in with interactions but basically though the one day uh this one woman goes in there and he witnesses uh this woman being attacked and killed uh and it's basically though he kind of Come, you know, sees this happen, so he goes to try and stop this, but it's too late, and he's there, and then, like, John Leguizamo plays the um, police investigator who's kind of investigating this murder, and he's kind of looking at him going, well, why were you here? You, your shift was over, you left, but then you came back, and, you, and you're telling this story that doesn't really a, uh, add up, because he doesn't want to let on that he has these cameras in the room. He doesn't want to say anything about this, so, you know, he's kind of investigating him, and kind of confused about the whole thing, and uh, but then he ends up getting moved on to a new a hotel because of what happened there and they, they don't want him working at that same one anymore but when he goes to that one he meets he meets uh, Anna de Armas's character and they kind of start talking and he kind of becomes you know uh, fixated on kind of putting a camera in her room and kind of like and then trying to become friends with her and he starts to like her but then it, it's a whole lot of um like this mystery too on who is this killer and like is this killer still around and I actually thought it was a really interesting movie Helen Hunt plays his, uh, Ty Sheridan's uh, mother in the film uh, I, mean, I really like this one a lot I thought John Leguizamo did a really great job in a real serious kind of role and I like John Leguizamo of course doing comedies but I also think he's really good doing like um, dramatic kind of serious roles but I would really recommend you guys 
guys check this one out. I actually really like this one a lot. The next one here is from RLJ uh, Entertainment. This is one that gets a top recommendation. This movie was like amazing. Uh, it's a movie here called um, uh, VFW, and this one ha is the 4K Ultra HD edition, which has the 4K as well as the Blu-ray. And this is directed by uh, Joe Bagos, and um, it stars Stephen Lang, you know, who was in uh, Don't Breathe, uh, lots of different movies. William Sadler, who I always think of no matter what as uh, Death from Bill and Ted. Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey, but he's coming back in the new Bill and Ted film as well. Uh, Martin Cove from The Karate Kid. Uh, Fred, um, you know, the Hammer Williamson is in the film. I thought Fred Williamson was great in this movie, too. I thought everybody was great. Uh, also, a bunch of other character actors in here as well. George Went is in here. And it's it's basically, though, about these guys who, you know, all, you know, were in the war. And kind of, in, some of them were from, diff knew each other from the war together. Some of them were from other wars. But it's uh, Stephen Lang's character who owns a uh, bar, which is all, you know, a veterans bar, uh, vet, you know, from foreign wars bar. They kind of go there and hang out. It's all set during kind of like this sort of like a future post-apocalyptic sort of future. And there's like this drug that's around that people have become addicted to. And right nearby where this bar is, right across the street, is this abandoned movie theater where it's like these kind of street punks are all at. And it's head up by this one guy and, and, and he kind of controls these drugs there that he's, you know, has. And, and they kind of, the drugs kind of turn people into these kind of like mindless, crazy like zombie kind of people and the one girl um who's in there played by Sher um you know Sierra McCormick her sister in the beginning of the movie she ends up dying over these drugs because she, like the one guy's like oh if you want these drugs jump for it and she jumps and falls off the balcony and dies and Sierra McCormick's character ends up stealing the drugs because she doesn't want them there anymore she wants them out of this place because of what happened to her sister and she runs off and like they all kind of come after her and she ends up going and hiding in this bar where all the guys are in there and they kind of have to kind of defend you know and help her and defend the bar and keep these like crazed people from getting in there to get the drugs back these crazy zombie like people that want these drugs and it's kind of them in there defending this place it has vibes of stuff like um you know not you know dust till dawn wasn't like like this same thing but it has vibes of something like dust till dawn being like locked in a bar and things like feast like locked in a bar kind of movie i really like this one I, it was also the way it was shot it was kind of aged to look like it was shot on like 16 millimeter so it has like a real you know like they added like film grain and stuff to it to have that kind of look so it has this real grind house kind of vibe and it also has like really cool you know old school like 80s synth style music in the movie as well but all it was just a great cast together like these great character actors who I've been a fan of forever together in this movie they did a great job like the whole like I said the whole concept and it's extremely like gory movie too. There's insane gore sequences in this one of like people getting killed and the attacks and stuff like that. It's a, like I said, a total throwback, but one I would highly recommend you guys check out 4K wise too. It looks great because like I said, it's a real gritty grindhouse style movie, but top recommendation on here though. This has two filmmaker commentaries. It has a making of a feature out on here, a feature out on here with the cast and crew, as well as a feature out on here with the makeup effects of the movie. But if you guys have seen this one too, let me know uh, what you guys thought, but this is one. I would highly recommend you guys check out. Really, really love this one a lot. Also has in here too a uh, thing in here advertising uh, Shutter as well. But one, like I said, definitely, definitely worth uh, checking out. And the next one I got here is from Dark Sky Films. It's a movie here called Infection. This is a uh, zombie film and from Venezuela. And it's basically though about the zombie outbreak that has happened. In the beginning of the movie, you see these kind of guys like injecting this kind of drug. You see like this this creepy looking like bat on the thing too. And like um basically it's kind of like this thing that's spread it's some kind of an infection thing and it's not exactly sure what's starting this whole thing and uh this one guy though um you know who's a doctor his son goes to visit like his grandmother that he hasn't seen in years and like you know his son is gone and this is when, when this outbreak has happened this zombie outbreak has happened and like people are coming by to him because the, the, the guy is a doctor and basically though he's kind of realizing how bad things are and he wants to it has to try and get back to his son so it's basically 
quickly, though, about, you know, why this zombie outbreak is happening. He has to try and make his way to his son and get to him and everything. And it's just a really crazy, intense zombie movie. It says on here, too, a collision of worlds between Mad Max and uh, 28 Days Later. It has that kind of vibe because it's a real fast-paced, quick-moving uh, zombie infection film here. Like I said, this one here is called Infection. The next ones here are all from uh, MovieZing.com. I have a link below where you guys can order these ones for the best price. And this is a uh, National Geographic release of uh, Running Wild with Bear Grylls. This is the complete uh, fifth season here on DVD. And this is, the you know, when, with Bear Grylls when he goes out with celebrities out into the woods and in the, in the jungle and certain type of locations with them. And it's kind of like um, like a survival skills show with him going out with them. But then it's also like um, it, he like interviews them and talks to them about like their lives and things that they've been through and that kind of stuff. It's actually a really, really good show. I'm really glad to have a physical release of this one. But on here, though, some of the celebrities that are on this episode is, uh, you know, this particular season is uh, Brie Larson, uh, Joe McHale, Car Cara Delevingne, uh, Rob Regal, uh, um, Army Hammer, uh, Dave Bautista, uh, Channing Tatum, uh, Alex Holland, Bobby Bones, uh, Zachary Quinto, and, it's, and they go to places like the Panama Jungle, uh, the mountains of Norway, uh, the Glen Canyon, Arizona, Arizona, Iceland, uh, Pearl Islands. So it's a really, really cool. Like I said, it's a really, I, I, I really like this one a lot. I think there was a season before this as well with, uh, with celebrities as well in this one. But like I said, a really great, you know, survival kind of show with Bear girls going out with the celebrities and kind of, you know, uh, and them kind of surviving together doing like um, mountain climbing and and all that kind of stuff that they go through and having to eat like weird types of food and all that kind of stuff here and this is a um a three disc set here the next one here this is a really interesting release here this is from movie zing as well this is also from frolic pictures it's a double feature here, which has two movies, uh, Ghetto Blaster and Judgment Day. Judgment Day is one of those movies that I don't think has ever had any other releases before. I don't think it's ever been the DVD before in any other release. I don't believe. It's a really obscure movie, and I and I totally forgot what the name of it was for years, and I used to think it was called Judgment Night. So, you know, and I used to think that, I was like, oh yeah, there must be two movies called Judgment Night. And I don't know why I thought that, because I, I remember it had a similar name to that, but then I, then I never figured out what it was until recently when I saw this. I'm like, oh yeah, this is this movie about these people who kind of end up in this small, weird, like small, kind of abandoned town, and it's kind of like weird sort of things are happening. And I remember renting it years ago when I was maybe like 10, 11 years old or something at Blockbuster Video. And I and then like that, and then like I saw this one time, and then like never saw it again. So it's actually cool that's in this double feature here. What and this is done like um like a grindhouse style double feature. So it has like uh, trailers at the beginning, uh, you know, and then like trailers in between and some little shorts and that kind of stuff in this one here. Uh, the next one here, this is from, um, you know, um, MovieZing.com as well, and this is also a universal release. And this is um, American Pie Presents the Naked Mile. And this is the, the American Pie Presents movie that I feel like I, I almost kind of forgot about this one for some reason because, you know, there was um, American Pie uh, Band Camp, and then there was Naked Mile, and then there was, I think, Book of Love. I don't know if there's any other ones. I can't say for sure. I think there's been talk about them making more, but I don't think they have made a new American Pie Presents movie in a really long time. This one was basically though about this high school student who was like uh, Stifler's. I believe he was uh, in the in you know Steve Stifler's family, and he basically goes, uh, you know, he wants to lose his virginity, and he like there's like this kind of thing going on at this college where they, like, everyone at the college like runs naked, and it's like for this mile, it's kind of this big thing, and Jim's dad kind of runs the whole or like is like the the guy who does like the announcements there and everything. And it's basically though about him them trying to get there to this thing, and it's just a really fun, a uh, wacky movie like i said i had not seen this movie in years I don't, this came out in 2000 i don't know if it says on here exactly when the movie 2005 so i don't think i've seen i think i saw it in 2005 was the last time i saw this movie uh, until now but this has on here though all the features from the original uh, dvd release uh like uh, deleted and extended scenes outtakes a uh, commentary track on this one but a really fun movie like i said one of the american pie movies the presents ones uh, that you don't hear about as often Next one here is from um, uh, MovieZing.com as well, and this is also from uh, Vision Films. And this is a Thomas uh, J. Churchill film called The Rack, the Rack Pack. And this was actually a fun movie. This is basically about the group of these uh, kids. Some of them are brothers. Other ones are friends from school and everything. And they have like a group where they do um, kind of like reenact, like, you know, um, like kind of army kind of re in a, in a, um, reenactment kind of things where they kind of like act, like, kind of like play like they're in the army. They have like this kind of like a clubhouse that they have 
have out in the middle of the woods. They kind of have like, um, kind of like uh, these trail kind of things that they crawl through, like trenches and stuff like that, and all these kind of things. But basically, though, um, C. Thomas Howell's character is a guy who goes and buys like um, storage thing, like um, goes to like. Um, what would you just call those things? He goes to like estate sales and kind of sales and those kind of things and buys stuff to kind of flip it and make money on it and everything. And he buys this one thing and inside of it, he finds this army treasure map. This kind of, I mean, this treasure map. And um, he basically, he, him and his friend kind of go out there to try and, you know, find this treasure. And it's right nearby where these kids have their tree house, I mean, their clubhouse and like where they're, they're doing their army kind of games and all that kind of stuff. And basically though, they kind of, come to realize though that, that C. Thomas Howe's character is up to no good out there. And he also has these uh, other guys who are kind of like the bad guys who are kind of helping him along uh, trying to find this treasure and stuff. And the director plays one of the bad guys in here. His character is great. He's like plays this real wacky kind of crazy character. I actually thought this was a really fun movie. It, it has like a real throwback to to like a 90s kids movie. It has that kind of vibe to it. But I thought this was actually a really fun uh, movie here. Like I said, this one here is called The, uh, the Rack Pack. The next one here, this is from Movies as well and this is also from a company called cracked up and this is after midnight here this is the blu-ray of after midnight and this has on here behind the scenes featurette uh, outtakes as well as a director's commentary and this is um you know um stars jeremy Gar gardner you know who also was behind the film the battery and and also it has um you know, uh, Bria Grant. And this is basically though, you know, he, he, he's, he's married to Bria Grant's character and they have like this, you know, they recently got married and everything is kind of going well, but then all of a sudden it kind of cuts to a number of years later and his character is out in this, in, in their kind of farmhouse area, kind of out in the middle of nowhere. And he's kind of sitting right by the door and he has like a gun and he's kind of like, you know, acting like there's some kind of a creature or something outside and he has to guard the house and his wife is like left this note and is gone and you're kind of trying to figure out exactly why she left and how everything that seemed so perfect kind of came to this and it's kind of like um you see like these scratches on the front door and you're kind of like well is you know is he imagining this is this guy kind of cracked up and like thinking there's some kind of a, a thing out there because he's telling the cops about that there's something out there they're like oh it's probably just a bear and he's like oh it's not a bear it's it's, it's something out there and you don't know is like if he's going crazy or if, if there's something there it's a really really interesting a character piece here uh, you know with kind of like what exactly is going on here and this one here is from um, uh, moviezing.com as well and this is also from Adler and Associates Entertainment it's a movie here called um, I think it's Shedem Shedem Shedium I, I'm not sure exactly 100% how to say it correct I think it's Sh Sh Shedem I think I think and this one is basically though about it's done like found footage style and it's about like a guy who's doing a documentary. Uh, in the beginning, it was a guy who was doing a documentary about this family, but then all of a sudden, like the family up and like vanished. Like they were kind of acting a little strange. The father was acting strange, but then they kind of up and vanished. And the guy who was doing the documentary uh, talks to another guy who's like a filmmaker, and kind of tells him about the documentary that he was making, and kind of gives some footage of this family and what he was making, and says, "Well, I, I want to hire you to find them. I want you to do a documentary trying to find them and figure out exactly where they are." what happened to this family, what, what, where they went, if they, you know, they, because they totally vanished. They had no one has heard from them in a really long time. I don't know how, I can't remember if it was like a year or so, but it was a very long period of time. And basically, though, he has to go and try and, you know, find them. And, he, you know, the guy agrees to do it because he says it seems like a really interesting thing about where they went and everything. Of course, though, you know, finding them is going to lead to something weird. And, and that's essentially what it was. But it was actually a really well done, the way this was all put together, found footage, uh, like, you know, uh, film here like I said I, I think it's called Shet Shetium I think I think I'm saying that right though and the next ones I got here are all from Vinegar Syndrome a bunch of really cool new releases here also Vinegar Syndrome has up for pre-order if you guys didn't hear they're releasing a Dolly Dearest on Blu-ray which I cannot wait for that also they just announced the pre-order is up now as well for the movie Rad and they're releasing that one on a 4k but this movie here is one called Deadline which I really like this a lot I had never heard of this one uh, and it's from 1980 and it's um it's basically though about this guy who's this author who basically mainly 100% writes horror, you know, uh, uh, 
you know, uh, books. But his horror books have been spun off into films, and he writes the screenplays for those as well. And he's kind of working on now uh, a new film where he's writing the screenplay for it, and he's having all sorts of problems with it. He's also trying to work on another book, and he, he's like, his agent is giving him all this stuff going, you know, you, you need to get to me, you need to get me the scripts, you need to get these things done. And he's like, well, I'm really trying something different here. I'm trying to do something really different. And the thing that's interesting about the way this is, movie is done, too, is there's times when you don't know know if what you're seeing is like what this guy is writing or you don't know if what you're seeing is something that's really happening because it, it cuts to the, like when you know these sequences of these extreme like horror gory sequences that are really really well done but like insane like totally like over the top gory like out there stuff so you don't know if like is he a, like is this like what he's thinking about could, could some of this be happening at certain times and they do a good job kind of mixing it all up but essentially though he's like having all sorts of problems with his like family life because like you know he's ignoring his wife ignoring the kids and he's like if the kids come by he's always saying oh well, don't ask your mother I'm busy here I gotta work on this and he's like basically his life is kind of crumbling around him because of trying to do this and having all sorts of these problems and it's kind of like it's it's just kind of all you know what it all leads up to but i actually like i said really really like this one this is definitely one i would definitely say is worth uh, picking up this one has on here a brand new newly scanned and restored in uh, 2k from the 35 millimeter volt elements it has an interview on here with the producer it has an interview on here with the cinematographer on this one but like i said really like this one a lot the next one here this is a really fun movie here called hell riders which stars um you know, Tina Louise, you know, who played, uh, you know, uh, you know, Ginger in Gilligan's Island and Adam West, of course, who played Batman and tons and tons of things. And this is a movie here called um, Hell Riders. And I believe this is the director who did, um, yeah, who also directed Don't Go in the Woods. And this is basically, though, about like this biker gang that is kind of like terrorizing this town. And there's like these great, like wacky sequences of like the bikers, like, you know, when they're all like riding their bikes. And like the, the one, and they kept on kind of using the same form a lot so there's like the one biker guy kept on like waving a guy who's like doing this a lot he's like just come on this i'm thinking like why is this guy waving him keeps on waving him in in this, in this weird way and i also was noticing too that like um for especially for adam west and tina louise's characters and i and i watched the the making of thing uh the interview with the director and i realized okay that's what was going on here because there's a couple different times when you like could tell that it was like body doubles for them in the scenes basically like they only had them for one day for both of them they're the same time for a day so they didn't have enough time to have like did full coverage on them you know so basically they shot all their stuff in close-ups and all the other stuff of them it was like far away and like other scenes most of that was just doubles it kind of looked like them and you could kind of tell them like that was not Tina Louise there you know what I mean so it's kind of funny I, I know I noticed that a couple times then I watched that interview with the director I'm like okay that's what was happening but it's basically though about this biker gang that's terrorizing the town and Tina Louise's character is kind of driving through the town they attack her car and are attacking her and Adam West he's like the doctor in the town down. And like, it's just basically like all about this whole thing and this this kind of like, and, and the director said too, he, the movie wasn't played to be serious. It was kind of played almost like um, like Dukes of Hazardy. It kind of has that sort of vibe to it, like kind of like I don't know how to explain it, but it has like a feel of like a Dukes of Hazardy kind of thing, but like kind of like an R-rated Dukes of Hazard. And it has on here newly scanned and restored in 2K from the 35 millimeter original camera negative. Like I said, an interview on here with the director. And this is a limited edition to 3,000 copies and also it has on here a uh, poster as well a double-sided poster which has um you know two different uh images the artwork that's on the uh the blu-ray on the front as well as the alternate artwork as well on this one but like i said a really pretty fun like um kind of like wacky kind of goofy uh biker movie Next one here, this is from Uli Lamel, and this one I had not seen in a long time. It's a movie here called Olivia, and this is basically, though, about... Um this, one, this girl who witnessed her mother, uh, you know, getting killed. Her mother was a prostitute. And her mother was getting killed, and she saw her mother get killed. And then she kind of like this haunted her for her, like you know from this. And, and you know, years later, when you know she's an adult, she's kind of having like these visions and hearing her mother kind of telling her to get revenge and like avenge her death because of what had happened to her. So she's kind of going out and dressing as this character like a prostitute and going out and like killing men at night. And it actually this movie too has really great music. I absolutely 
absolutely love the you know the score to this to, to this movie here. But it's basically about her going and doing this, and like she kind of like meets this one guy, and she's trying to like kind of you know uh, you know not like kill him. It's it's actually a really really good movie. Like I said, I had not seen this movie in a really long time. This one is newly scanned and restored in 4K for its original 35 millimeter camera negative. It has an interview on here with uh, actress uh, Susan Love. It has an interview on here with the writer and assistant director on this one. Interview with the cinematographer and um, interview on here with the editor on the film. Super 8 behind the scenes footage shot and narrated by um, by the writer and AD Josh P. Marsh. A theatrical trailer on this one. And the last one from uh, Vinegar Syndrome is this one called um, Malam Malambimba. I, I don't know how to say this one for sure. I, be I believe it's Malabimba Bimba, I think. This one though, now keep in mind this one is a, more for adults. It's definitely for adults. It's kind of like an adult like horror film you know, with what what happens. And it's basically, though, this is, like, set in this castle, and it's kind of like, um, when is this from? 1979. It's basically, though, this family was doing this seance to kind of try and c communicate with the mother who had died. And because of that, though, you know, you know sometimes when you mess around, like quite often, especially in horror movies, when you mess around with stuff like that, it can deal, like, with bad things happening. It's kind of like the one uh, daughter starts kind of acting kind of strange from this whole thing, and then kind of like a nun kind of comes in to kind of, like, um, um, trying, you know, save her soul because of the way she's acting and she's doing all these weird things. And it's kind of like what happens with her and the nun. So it kind of has like a nun exploitation kind of vibe mixed into this movie. This one has on here, though, newly restored, um, you know, newly scanned and restored from his original 16 millimeter negative. All these ones, though, look great on, you know, on Blu ray. That's the one thing with Vinegar Syndrome. They do like an amazing job with their transfers. This also has on here, though, an interview on here with actress, um, you know, Morginia Gordon. Gordina Godano, as well as the cinematographer on this one, a brand new commentary track on here with film historians uh, Sam Dellinger, Heather Drain, and Kat Ellinger, as well as a theatrical trailer on this one. This one here is from uh, Epic Pictures, and it's a movie here called Transference. And this is basically though about this guy, um, you know, whose sister is locked away in this kind of like um, she's in this sort of like. Uh, I guess sort of like a prison type kind of like um, facility kind of locked away and she's kind of being studied and like um, it's like dealing with her having these kind of like abilities like supernatural kind of abilities that like um, that you know they're trying to kind of figure out exactly what it is but the brother though he's starting to kind of have these kind of, you know, um, abilities as well. And he's kind of trying to figure out exactly what are these abilities and why does he have these kind of things. And he also wants to try and figure out how to get his sister out of this place and kind of get her, you know, basically rescue her from where she's being locked away in there and figuring out exactly if he does get her out, where he can have her be because of these abilities until they can kind of figure out how to kind of control these things because they kind of have gotten like out of hand with what's happening and everything. Uh, this one has on here, though a filmmaker's commentary uh, also has a short film a director's interview as well as a trailers on this one here but a pretty cool movie here like i said this one is called uh, transference escape the dark and then these ones here ones i just want you guys to know are available this one here it, um, both of these um are from mvd and this is also from um uh, Weiner World uh, presentation, and this is called the uh, Vinyl Revival, and this is from the creators of the the uh, creators of the acclaimed uh, Last Shop Standing. This is a film, basically though, a documentary all about the vinyl movement and about how you know vinyl has made like a huge comeback in the recent years, and kind of interviewing people who own like record shops and that kind of stuff. And also, though, I want to make sure to let you guys know, inside of the um, the Vinyl Revival, uh, you know, DVD, there's also a booklet in here as well, kind of about vinyl and kind of about, you know, um, antidotes and vinyls and fashion and all that kind of stuff here. Like I said, just want to make sure to let you guys know that that was included inside of here as well. And this one here is from VCI, uh, you know, Entertainment. And this is a um, uh, one of the um, like a serial kind of thing from the 40s. This is from 19. Uh, 45 and this is like um you know 13 chapters like because like serials would be like different kind of you'd see like each week like a continuation to this and this is from the uh, series here jungle jungle queen and this is remastered in 2k from the original 35 millimeter a uh, fine grain here but like i said one of you guys know that this one was available here uh like i said this is called a uh, jungle queen and the last one here is something i wanted you guys know is available from um from Film Movement's Classics. And this is uh, These Finest Hours, which is a five uh, British World War II uh, classics. And it's five World War II films here. This has um, Went to the... Uh, went to the 
went the day well uh, from 1942, uh, the Colt story from 1945, the Dam Busters from 1955. Oh, sorry, the Colt story was from 1955 as well. Dunkirk from 1958, and Ice Cold and Alex from 1958. It also has uh, five hours of bonus content, five uh, five documentaries, interviews, archival footage, home movies, uh, as well as a 24-page uh, booklet in here as well. You know about the uh, films in here and all that kind of stuff. But like I said, just want you guys know that uh, this one was available here and this is also a uh, five disc set so each movie is on its own uh, disc here but anyway though guys that was all for the review portion of this video thanks again for watching subscribing and i'll see you guys later bye